We don't always realize it, but our surroundings or the environment around us plays a huge role in our behavior. And if you're trying to change your behavior, often what you have to do is change your environment. So this means like if you walk in the door, put down your keys and the first thing you see is a super comfortable sofa sitting in front of the TV or in front of a video game console, like that's the first thing that you're going to go to. So if you're trying to change your behavior to get yourself to study or work out, maybe what you have to do is move the TV or the video game console into another room that's harder to get to. And probably you should put like your exercise equipment in front of it so that the only way you're watching TV is if you're also exercising or whatever thing you want to do. Don't put the most comfortable sofa and a bag of chips and like all of your favorite things all in one place. That's really hard to break that habit. So another idea I have that's related to environment is if you're trying to learn a new language, get labels. <laughs> it's a simple thing. These are like $2 for a pack. But what you can do is you can label all of the things around you in your house so that you see them every day. It's a simple trick, but it just builds like words or vocabulary in your mind without doing any effort. So let's go through my house and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I might not know how to say in Spanish and I'd love you guys to tell me how to say it in your language so that we can all learn the words for these things together. Here we go. Okay, the thing you set your cup on is called a coaster, a clipboard, a barrette for your hair, a throw pillow. It's more like for decoration. A curling iron to curl your hair. Turmeric, uh, cinnamon, maple syrup. Cutie pie is like bonbon. <laughs> The point is, set up your environment to help you improve at whatever it is your goals are. You got this.